Hi to everyone, John here, and today we are taking a look at the Yakima Gatekeeper tailgate pad for five bikes here on our 2021 Jeep Gladiator. This is going to be a great way to get five bikes to and from the trail without having to worry about them getting damaged or the inside of your bed getting damaged either. Now something that you may want to know is why wouldn't I just use my hitch? Uh, there's a lot of reasons that you may not want to use your hitch on your Gladiator. Maybe you just want to be able to use it for other things, cargo carrier, and you want to use the available space in the back of your truck bed. Not only that, but this isn't going to have a weight capacity like you would have for your hitch. Uh, as long as they fit and they fit comfortably, you'll be able to fit five bikes of any size in here. Though I do recommend to play around, figure out what the best setup for your bikes are to make sure that they aren't moving against each other. You may want to get some pads on the sides just to protect your bikes from each other. But overall, it's going to be able to hold uh, everything from electric bikes to mountain bikes. So the way it's going to hold your bike is you're going to have padding covering both sides. As you can see, your front wheel is going to be nice and secure right there, while you're actually going to have the strap being held on to the frame. So if you have any carbon frame bikes or odd shaped frame bikes, this may not be the way to go. But it's relatively easy to get this off. You just have to kind of undo the strap a little bit. It takes a second. As you can see, uh, it's not like the clip ones. Some of them have clips, but this one, it just goes all the way around with this little metallic piece. And it does take a second to get undone. There we go. Now that it's off, we can easily take our bike out. Now this obviously will get tougher the bigger that your truck is, but here on the Gladiator, overall it's pretty easy to just lift over and then go on a bike ride. Now that we have our bike off, we can take a closer look at the pad itself. It's got a really cool design on the front, and whenever you want to uh, see out of the back or open up the back of your truck bed, you can see that this pops up. It's got a hook and loop strap that's holding it in place along with some buttons, but now you can uh, just pull this down and open up the back of your tailgate. And right here, we can actually take a closer look at the padding itself. I'm just going to take this off here. It has really nice padding that's going to uh, be holding your frame in place. I really do like the padding because it just adds a little bit more. There's other tailgate pads that just have not even close to the amount of uh, protection and cushion that we've got here today, but they did a really good job uh, with Yakima doing this. One big thing I noticed though, which is kind of a problem in my opinion, is if you're wanting to use the backup camera, you really can't. Uh, with the Jeep Gladiator, it's right here. So usually whenever you're bringing this up, your tailgate is going to have its backup camera right about here. But unfortunately, you would have to take off the entire tailgate uh, pad if you wanted to back up with that. Shouldn't have too much of a problem because you can see out of the back of your Jeep Gladiator, but if you rely on backup cameras, that may be something to keep in mind. Now it's going to be held in place by three different straps right here. It's going to be easy to move those out of the way and easily get those pushed up. In case you need to move it around, uh, I recommend making sure that the pads are at least very close to the top, if not uh, right on the edge. So right about here is usually the best place for them. Uh, you can play around and see what fits best for your tailgate. I just noticed whenever it comes to the Jeep Gladiator, that's the best way to go. But it's also very easy to just get these off. You can see it has a little bit of uh, a plastic strap to keep it from coming all the way out when you don't want it to. But we can just undo all this. As you can see, it isn't taking me any time at all to get this all undone. And then you can just take it off. And now we can take a closer look at the uh, bottom of it. It's gonna have this uh, felt material on the bottom that is going to make it where the, any part that of it that is touching your tailgate, it's gonna be protected and you're not gonna have to worry about scuffs or scratches. Now, something that you can do whenever you're not using it, or let's say that you may be going to a specific place to pick up bikes and you don't need to use it at the moment, you can put it in the back of your Gladiator or in the uh, bed itself. It's going to be 
just long enough so you can fit it right there. And if you have room underneath, your gladiator seats, you'll be able to put it in there. We have some setups right now where you can't put stuff underneath, but overall that's an easy way to take care of it. So my final thoughts on the Yakima tailgate pad is if you are needing something that's going to be versatile, easy to put on and light, I definitely recommend going with this. Uh, you can hold five bikes, which is great. Just quickly take them in and out and you don't have to worry about any of the fuss of tightening stuff down for your hitch and then going. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more uh, worrisome. You may wanna play around and DIY how your bikes are sitting in there, but overall, it's a little bit easier than trying to find some kind of hitch uh, choice whenever it comes to getting your bikes around. And that was a look at our Yakima Gatekeeper tailgate pad for five bikes here on our 2021 Jeep Gladiator. My name's John, thanks for watching.